welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very exciting video for you guys. It is going to be a drugstore slash inexpensive makeup haul. And I know that on this channel, I use a lot of higher end makeup. Well, I actually know, I actually think I do a mix of both. I think I have amazing you know, balance of both inexpensive and really expensive makeup. And there are some products that I have that are inexpensive that literally performs better or even on equal level as some other higher end brand that I have that's not MAC. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is, you know, the L'Oreal Infallible um, 24 hour foundation, the Demi Matte Finish version. I had some trouble getting my shade here in Toronto. I don't know if it's because of where I live. The shade um, up from, you know, there were two shades that I guess could fit me. One was very, very light and the other one was like very, very dark. I didn't want to buy two foundations that I don't know how it works to mix and all that good stuff. Like, I'm not going to do that for this foundation. So my parents went to New York a few weeks ago. Ooh, dropped it. The shade that I ended up getting is in 111 Soft Sable. This shade is still a little bit on the darker side for me. I would definitely say it's a foundation that I can see myself wearing more in the summertime, but you guys stay tuned for the review on this one. Let's put that one aside because I definitely wanna delve into it when you guys see the review. The next one I'm gonna show you guys is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, the matte and poreless version. This is also another foundation that I currently am even doing a review for you guys. I am wearing it right now and I do wanna test it out for an extended period of time and then I can give you guys like a look-see to see how it wears on the skin. I will say though that this foundation is just everything. It's half the price of the L'Oreal Infallible foundation, but to me, this is a better product. This foundation is very, very lightweight, but it gives you such amazing coverage. If you want a foundation that is, it's, it's runny, like it literally runs down your arm. Yeah, it's very, very runny. And you guys could see it there as the shade ranges are very very tricky um i will say though out of the two foundations this one fits me perfectly hands down i know that my chest is always lighter than my face so i don't know if you guys could see that but even in the viewfinder i can see that my face is still darker but i like to correct that with highlighting. So the next things that I picked up are pretty much powders to match the foundations. Um, so for the L'Oreal True Match, I did pick up the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 16 Hour Matte Finish Powder. I got it in the shade, what did I get it in? This one is their Shine Control version. I think there's only one version actually. Hold on, I'm trying to get the color. Where did I see the color? Oh, I don't know. This is what it looks like, but I can't find the color. Where is the color? It's not at the front. You guys are gonna see this in the review, but I did use it to set the inner part of my face. Um, the other powder that I picked up was also for the um, matte and poreless, and I did get the exact same shade for the foundation oh i didn't tell you guys the foundation in the ugh, the, foundation, the color of the matte the color of the maybelline matte finish foundation is 330 and i also got the 330 in the powder as well other thing i picked up was the maybelline um concealer i got the shade number 35 deep and I've heard so much about this um, concealer. I personally bought this on hype, <laughs> I will admit. And the thing is that I like the color that I ended up getting, but it's so almost beigey. It's not very, you know, yellowy or warm, I should say. It's very, 
I don't know, it's very beigey almost. So even though this is deep, it's it has like a cooler undertone to it. So I like it, I like the texture, I like the formulation of it, but it's not a concealer that I reach for on a daily basis. I'm not like fully, fully blown away by it. Now the next item I did pick up is from the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous um, line of products. And to be honest, I've heard so much about the foundation, but I ended up going with this powder. And this one is in the shade 315 320 Deep. And I just got a shade that I can use just to bronze up my skin and give me a little bit of, you know, put a little bit more color and life in my skin after I do my, you know, highlighting and stuff. I picked up two mascaras, which is odd for me because I honestly don't buy mascaras very often. It's one of those products that I don't really splurge a lot on. I don't really buy them very often, but I always have enough mascaras to the point where I need to go through my drawers right now and probably throw some of them out but I've heard so much about these ones I don't know I ended up going with a waterproof one because I feel like it's summer let me try a waterproof mascara and of course I tried the Miss Manga from L'Oreal because um, I've heard so much about it and they've also come out with a new version I think it's the rock star one if I'm not mistaken All I know is that instead of the pink it has sort of like a greenish cover to it So I just wanted to try the original because I've never tried it before and I just want to see what everyone else kind of talking about Still with L'Oreal you see I purchased so much L'Oreal stuff L'Oreal is one of the products from the drugstore that as much as it's just really pricey It's the one that I find I gravitate towards more. I don't know why let's I don't know why but I have a ton of L'Oreal stuff Anyhow, I did also pick up the L'Oreal brow stylus plumper gel and this one was super expensive like I think I paid almost $16 for this and guys that's without tax like this is an expensive brow product from the drugstore actually all of the products from L'Oreal this year actually no I lie because their L'Oreal infallible eyeshadows that I have a nice uh, collection of those are those are really expensive but I don't know what to say like their prices are getting to the point where instead of going to the drugstore Maybe people are gonna start just put in that extra ten dollars and go to Mac or Go to Sephora and you know, maybe even double it and because You can't really return the stuff. I don't know where you live But I think I can if I purchase it at Walmart, I can return it if I purchase it from my Shoppers Drug Mart, I can't return it. So if I spend $20 on a L'Oreal foundation and it doesn't work for me, guess what? I'm screwed. I'm out $20. So I don't know what's going to stop people from going to, say, MAC and buy a foundation for $30 when they can be matched. And even if they don't like it, they can return it until they get the shade that they're comfortable with. And even worse, Sephora. I mean, you can return stuff three months after you buy it. So that's my only gripe with some of these things is just that they're the prices are just getting way too over drug or drugstore you know level i guess but you guys know what i mean like it's just becoming too ridiculous and why is it that i can't open this why so no i can't open it okay i'm gonna have to figure this out and I'm trying everything. Okay, I'm going to put this aside. I'll come back to this one. Okay, so, still from L'Oreal, guess what I picked up? I also picked up their two eyeshadow palettes. The La Palette Nude 1, I guess, and La Palette Nude 2. So this is Nude 1 and this is Nude 2. As you guys could see, Nude 1 is very neutral, brownie, golden tones. And then Nude 2 is very rosy, mauve um, undertones. It does have, yeah, very, very mauve, burgundy, 
rosy almost. It's actually what I'm wearing on my eyes today. This one has the most mattes because it has one, two, three, four, five, six mattes. And then it has one, two, three, four um, shimmery shades in it. So this one you're getting more mattes than you are shimmers. And then the next one that I picked up is the La Palette Nude, which you guys are going to see is more golden. To me, this one is beautiful this one though has the least amount of mattes so it only has one two three matte shades and the rest are pretty much shimmery shades as you guys could see i've only used this one once but the reason why i've only used it once is because it's the one that i'm most excited about i know that's going to sound crazy but it's like I, I, it's like I'm, I'm baby in it almost and this is the one that I will be doing a makeup tutorial with for this week so you guys can stay tuned for that my parents actually picked these up for me in New York a few weeks ago as well so I actually didn't get these in Canada but since they came back I think a week ago I went to Shoppers Drug Mart for my Toronto viewers um, and or I should say Canadian viewers and they did have them in stock for $29.99. I think my parents said they paid $20 for each of these. I don't know if normally I would pay $29.99 for this. I still have to test these out and I'll definitely let you guys know because I don't know yet if they're worth it. One of the things that I always say that I don't have is enough um, bra brow. <laughs> I don't have enough brow products from the drugstore, so I ended up picking up two products. The first one is the NYX Eyebrow Pencil. This one is in the shade Dark Brown, and this one is nice. I've used it before. It's really, really, really nice. Did I say, yeah, Dark Brown EP05. It's just a really, really nice pencil. I find that it's really firm, but it's not too, too, too firm. And I like the application, actually, the applicator. It doesn't have like a pointy or a round, um, you know, tip to it. It has like a very flat oval looking, um, you know, kind of tip to it. But I really like the color dark brown. And then it also comes with a nice spoolie at the end, which, you know, it's, it's very decent. To me, this is a great product for the price. I think I paid $6.99 for this. Um, and second one is one from um, Milani. It's the Easy Brow. And FYI, for my, I don't know if I should say Canadians, because I don't even know if in Canada, if, if they have superstores in all of Canada. But if you are in the Toronto GTA area, um, Milani is now available at Superstores. That's where I bought it from. Thank you, Amy Masibo. I think that's Masibo or Masido um, here on YouTube for, you know, letting us all know that we can now get Milani from Superstore. So I did go and yeah, I did pick up the brow um, product from Milani. I got the shade Dark Brown as well. Okay, so this one has, you know, the cover that actually goes over the little spoolie part, which is very important, guys. You can fill your brows in, but always brush them before and after you fill them in. Oh, and it comes with a nice little tip, but guess what? Oh, yeah, mine is. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, that's actually really a lot darker than my... It's a lot, actually a lot darker than the NYX one. So this one is the Milani one and this one is the NYX one. That one is the Milani one as well. But I wanted to swatch it right next to the NYC one. I don't know. This one is a lot softer too. And I like my pencils a little bit firmer because it doesn't put down as much products right away. Um... I don't know. I think I like the NYX one a lot more. And this one is giving me trouble now to wind it down. Like, I hate when that happens. Like, when you wind it up and you can't wind it back down. As far as packaging, this definitely wins. But I prefer this one um, over the Milan one. So let's move on to some lip products from the drugstore. And then, yeah, let's get this on the road. The first thing that I picked up from the oh I just broke it the first <laughs> lip product is a lip liner this one is from Milani as well and it's in the shade all natural 04 I don't oh this is really really soft 
Wow, I ended up breaking the tip of it, but that's what that looks like. It is so soft. It is so soft. You can actually use this as a lipstick. So that's what natural looks like. Just a really mauve ish nude. I think that is a very woman of color, variety of color friendly um, lip liner. And then I picked up a few of the, what are these called? The Maybelline, um, you know, the matte line of lipsticks that they have. The first one I picked up is called Touch of Toffee. This one I am actually in love with. That is what that one looks like. Next one is called Craven Coral. I had to get a nice bright orangey color like that. Okay, so that one is called uh, Daringly, Daringly Nude. <laughs> it is a neutral, but this one weighs a little more mauve ish tone, I guess. But it's such a pretty color. I cannot wait to wear that one. The next one that I picked up is called Faint. What is it? Faint for fuchsia and that is what that one looks like right there. They are matte but they're not like a true matte you know texture. I found that they're more of a creamy matte but after wearing them for maybe like half an hour they get a little bit tacky so that's good. I did pick up the LA Girl matte um, lip glosses or I don't know what you call them. They're called the um, yeah, see matte lip gloss, which is an oxymoron because it's matte, it's not glossy, but they are in a gloss type container, so I guess you can say that they are, you know, glosses, I guess. <laughs> I am planning to get some more and give you guys a, you know, sort of like a proper um, video on them and do like a lip swatch, but based on the reviews or based on what people have been guys I'm struggling to take the things off them but this is good because it lets you know that you know they haven't been swatched so I don't mind you know having them on like that but it's just a pain to remove them but anyways I'll give you guys like a proper swatch lip swatch video and you know you guys could see how the colors look on the lips so the first one that I got is called um obsess and it's sort of like a pinky I don't know how to describe this shade it's sort of like a pinky coral exactly it's sort of like a pinky coral and that's what oh my god like isn't that pretty so that one is obsess and the color is yeah no I can't even read those numbers obsess the next one that I picked up is called um fantasy it's sort of like a light pink this would be perfect as a lipstick topper not so much on its own for me with my skin tone because it's very 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 nude um but yeah it's i'm really surprised by them oh by the way they were 5.99 at my local beauty supply this one is so pretty it's in the shade tool and it's like i don't know if the camera is really picking that up it's sort of like a really intense fuchsia um, color and the last one that I got is timeless and this one is sort of like a deeper mauve ish purple and this is what that one looks like so it's right there I also picked up some of the highlighters that ColourPop Cosmetics launched last week. I got five shades from them. The first one that I got, I will show you guys, which is one of the most beautiful ones that I saw on the website and one that I think will more suit. All of the ones that you guys are gonna see are the ones that I think more suit darker skin. The first one is called Wisp. And they all have the same texture. They are not as embossed as the eyeshadows. They have like a smoother texture, but they have the same texture to it. Like it's very foamy, very spongy. Um, yeah, so this is the first one. This is Wisp. It's actually what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. I actually use this brush to apply them and this one is the Morphe M510 brush and it looks almost like an oversized you know eyeshadow crease brush 
which looks sort of like that. So this is like an oversized version. Um, that's what I use. I don't use my fingers. A second shade that I do have is called Butterfly Beach. This one is a little bit more rosy, but it's still on the, you know, nice and golden side. So the top one is Wisp and this one is Butterfly Beach. This next one is called Highly Wasted, which is one of my favorites. This one is not as pigmented as I would like it to swatch right now, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous rose gold uh, highlighter. This to me would probably be like what the Becca, um, you know, copper highlighter slash blush looks like. Honestly, guys, the swatch is not doing it much justice. It's actually a very, very beautiful highlighter. And next we have this one called uh, Most Necessary. That one looks like that. That one is more on the bronzy side. So if you are now like really deep, richer complexion, this is a beautiful color for you. Um, I would use this as a blush topper for myself. It's not necessarily going to be a highlighter, um, but I think that this would make a nice bronzy-ish shade for someone that's just a little bit more golden, but if you are more, you know, deeper in complexion, this would make it, these two anyways, and the other one that I'm going to show you guys would make beautiful, amazing Highlighter. So this one is it's bronzy, but it's also has a rose golden background to it um, Because the one that I'm gonna show you guys is more of a true bronze That one is in the shade Avalon And that's what that one looks like They all come off as highlighters mind you. They all have that high frosty highlighter look but once you blend them out they do look absolutely beautiful on the skin oh this one is absolutely beautiful and the swatch of this one is very 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 pigmented i hope oh can you see that that's what that looks like that one is called avalon so you guys could see that that's like a true 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 bronze it's so pigmented i love these um and i think they are beautiful highlighters for the price and that's why i really wanted to show you guys in this haul because i don't think there's anything that you can find at the drugstore that's going to give you that level of quality you know for the price and that's the honest truth in my opinion that is the end of my haul guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video I've been doing some really lengthy videos but I don't know how long that would last leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys think about this video thank you guys so so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video